On Thursday, May 1st, Activision and Sledgehammer Games released the first revealed trailer for the next Call of Duty game, Advanced Warfare. Typical things you'd expect from a Call of Duty game. Lots of action, great graphics, futuristic weapons, uh, armored suits, and Kevin Spacey? The internet had mixed reactions to this. I, for one, hope this is a great departure from their usual shtick. And maybe Kevin Spacey will bring some much-needed great acting, and maybe the story might actually be pretty good. I mean, they did have Gary Oldman in Black Ops, but let's be real here, that story made that pretty forgettable. Kevin Spacey, on the other hand, seems to have a large part in this. And hopefully this will restore faith in some of the old Call of Duty players who lost interest in the franchise, like myself. Now, what about the people who had no interest in the franchise at all? I mean, when creating a new part in a series, that's the demographic you want to appeal to, if you want the franchise to grow, anyway. And Call of Duty hasn't seen the growth that they had in the past, so they do need these new players. This past weekend, I was on the Hoverboard podcast with my two pals, Bassini and Mike, and I thought it might be fun to see what they thought of the trailer, because they don't play a lot of games. Now, again, this is their demographic. This is the people they have to appeal to if they want to continue to grow as a franchise. First, I showed them the Ghost trailer from last year, as a frame of reference. Then I showed them the Advanced Warfare trailer from this year. Here's what they had to say. Okay, we're back. And we, we just watched two Call of Duty, Duty trailers. You, Duty. you, you watched uh, last year's Ghost trailer. Which was cool. And then you watched this year's Advanced Warfare trailer, I which liked just it. came out. I liked it a little more. I figured... You would like it because it had Kevin Spacey in it. <laughs> no, no, not only that. It's not because like he's a very he's like nowadays he's relevant. Like he's always been relevant with car, um, House of Cards. Right. I just think that um he's a guy who knows. Like, yeah. He knows he doesn't just have to do TV exactly or movies. You know. But I think I I reason I thought that one the second one was better. I feel like the uh, the ghost one, even though like it looked cool, like it looked like a movie trailer. This one pulled it off better. This one seems like I could grasp the story a little bit better than I, I the ghost trailer. What? Well, I'll let you say what you thought about the ghost trailer because I understood it more once you said that as we were watching it. Well, the go, the the advanced warfare trailer looked like it told like more of a complete story. Exactly. Where you know the nat, the over the exposition by Kevin Spacey plus the, all the action sequences that they used epic music over, you get what it's about from all those things. With Ghosts, it was just like strings of dialogue that were like one-off cool things to say yeah. <laughs> with like a really distant Hans Zimmer-esque Man of Steel piano and then like a built symphony behind it. But really all I got from it was maybe they're vigilante soldiers looking out for each other and looking for their own brand of freedom. I don't know. I've never played it. I've never played yeah, the Call of Duty. I think that's what it is. That, that's what I got from that, it. But that's what uh, uh, Modern Warfare, the end of Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 were about. Oh, was okay. that. But the Advanced Warfare trailer, instead of giving you all these clues and pieces, puts it together for you. They gave you Kevin Spacey. In a mud, yeah. They gave you Kevin Spacey as a much better Lex Luthor than he's ever been. Like, yeah, oh my God. About? He's a real estate shark in this, kind of, because he's looking yeah. at land, and he's also ruthless and trying to become the president, so... Well, well, here's the thing. You hit the nail right on the head. Call of Duty uh, lately hasn't been known for its story. Its story has been awful, and it's been getting worse yeah. and worse as the years go by. Call of Duty has been a franchise that's been around since 2003. Then they came out with the second one in 2005. And then I think since then, they've been releasing one a year. They've been like yeah. going nuts. My last day at GameStop 2012 was putting up the first released... Uh, Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 Aren't posters. Two different companies? One puts out one one year, and then another company puts out... Wow. Yeah. Oh, one really? They stagger it. Yeah. That, oh, that's how a lot that. of game companies do it now. They've I think they, they've switched around. I think a couple... Companies have been doing it, for, but for the most part, they've been switching off. They've been taking two years to develop each game. Uh, the reason I showed you the Ghost one first is because that was the first Call of Duty game that I haven't picked up. I didn't pick that one okay. up. I've been getting them all since they came out. Since uh, Call of Duty 2, I'm sorry. I didn't pick up the first one. Because Call of Duty 2 was like one of the best launch titles for the Xbox 360. It was amazing. And because my grandpa fought in World War II and his battalion was in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, because they fought in Egypt. So, um, they, uh, yeah, I've been buying them all since they came out, since uh, Call of Duty 2. 
And Ghosts, I was just like, I can't buy this one. It's not, because they've been getting worse and worse. And I was like, this one's not going to be good. I can't get it. And then it came out and then not a lot of people liked it. So, you know, they had the dog. Yeah, Everybody the dog, went nuts over the dog. The dog's in it. Looks like my dog. Can but, you play as the dog? No. That. Kevin, who, who's the dog in that? Oh, I didn't show you the trailer. There was one trailer where the dog takes out a helicopter. <laughs> I swear to God, there's that like low flying helicopter. The dog jumps in and grabs the pilot and pulls him out, and then the helicopter's spinning and like crashes. Oh, it physically awesome. didn't bite the helicopter. It, it took out the pilot. No, it took out the guy. It, like jumped <laughs> in. It was awesome. I thought you meant like I got it. Like the dog talks. Like, but you see through all this action. Is that and Macy's voice. <laughs> you see right through all this action. And you're like, this isn't gonna be good. Like, there's no story here. This new one, this advanced warfare it looks one, awesome. They have Kevin Spacey, who's going to be an a- actually a good actor. Actually, Black Ops 2 had Merle from uh, The Walking Dead as oh, one of the main cool. characters. He was pretty good, but there was no story. Yeah. Uh, I will come to your house and watch you play it to get the movie experience. Well, are you? does this one make you interested? Do you actually want to see the story? Oh, yeah, 100%. It's not just because it's, it's, it's Kevin Spacey. I just think that I, I get a better grasp of the story in that trailer than the other one. I, I'm interested, but I'm also not interested. In a way, the only reason I'm interested is because this is a game, and it's a departure from the others in the series. And yeah. It's Kevin Spacey, so I'm interested because the way that they put the trailer together looks very interesting for a game. I'm not interested because they tried to make it look like a movie, and the plot of this game has been a million movies, all of which Matt Damon has been in. <laughs> the, any political thriller he's in has been like right. essentially the plot of this movie, where... You know, governments try and create shadow governments by overcoming... They always right. try to do the political th- thriller thing. Yeah, exactly. If they did it well, it would be great. But most of the yeah. time when these games try to do a political thriller, it it just doesn't make any sense. They, they don't have clear, like... Uh, no, this this seemed cohesive, and it seemed like it had a good story to tell, but I think the, the appeal for me, at least, is that it's a game. That's what makes it different, as opposed to... If that were a movie, I'd probably be like, oh, that looks pretty cool, but right. not I as might cool. see it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I, I might... I might wait game. till next summer when it's on Stars. <laughs> so there you go. They're interested, but probably not enough to play a shooter. What do you guys think? Are you happy with how much of a departure this is from the regular Call of Duty? Are you a little upset about how much of a departure it is? Do you not think it's much of a departure at all? Do you think it's stupid that Kevin Spacey's in it? I, for one, think this is a great move, and I hope that we find out that it's even more different. Leave it in the comments below. Carry the conversation over to Facebook. Like us. Talk to me on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel. More importantly, share this with your friends. Thank you very much. I don't have a piece of paper to crumple. Thank you very much. Have a good week. One DeviantArt user, C. Mara, decided to make a four-panel comic where Shadow the Hedgehog is having a really hard time saying goodbye to Shrek for some reason. I mean, it leaves a lot for the imagination, that's for sure. I was very optimistic about Amazing Spider-Man 2. After the first one, I was like, eh, but the second one's gonna be awesome. I thought the whole first one was a build-up for the second one, yeah. and now that, I'm see- that I've been seeing trailers and stuff and, uh, and set pictures of the second one, I've been getting more and more disappointed. <laughs>